there's a lot of new mini PCs hitting the market and this company Zulu reached out for me to look at the XR1 Lite. This is a successful Kickstarter. Here are the specs and I'll try to uh, verbalize some of them as well. It's kind of hard to see here, but there's three different options, Max Pro and Lite. I am showing the Lite version, option two, comes in this cool travel case and there's lots of neat things that are included with this. This is about 5% the size of a normal desktop PC and it's just as powerful. And so here it is. And as you can see, it's four cores, eight threads, uh, 2.6 gigahertz and comes with a simple manual. Mine came with uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And for the size factor, this packs quite a punch. Now, is this a gaming PC? No, I would say this is a great replacement for kind of the all-arounder. You know, I do lots of things with my computer. It's not set up for gaming. But if you wanted to play games and you wanted to do, uh, you know, some editing, some education, uh, this is pretty powerful. It is on the light side of what they offer. This does have an AMD Radon RX Vega 6 with a AMD Ryzen 3 5300U processor. Now here is Cinebench, I ran it. Thank you Metal Jesus for the recommendation. And you know, overall pretty good. It actually performed better than my Intel Core i5 processor. I was rather impressed with that considering it's so small. Now I'm gonna throw some games at it and you know, no, this is not a 4K gaming device even though it says it can. I'm running these games at 1080p and I'm using Game Bar to show kind of some simple performance. And you know, Forza 5 is a good game to, to test a computer with. Again, thank you Metal Jesus for the recommendation. And I'm doing a benchmark test here. I'll show you the results of that. Overall, you know, I was running the game. I, you know, it's, it's not gonna be typically a 60 frames game, especially for kind of a, a, a more of a AAA title such as Forza 5. But it was running it, and I would think that, you know, if you were just a, a casual gamer, you know, playing this game like this, no problem. Like, you know, I, I was rather impressed it ran it as good as it did. It was about 30 frames a second, you know, 29, 30, uh, give or take. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Halo 5, no problem. You know, very, very standard uh, performance. Frames per second was about 30 on several games, 30, 35. And you know, I, I would play it like this, you know, a competitive gamer, no. Uh, do you want a gaming setup? I would go with a max. And so this is the light version of the three. So if you want better performance, for sure the max is gonna do a lot better as it has more impressive specs. And I think for the price, it's probably worth it. But if you're wanting to save money and you just wanna get a standard, uh, mini PC to replace your huge desktop. Maybe you got space issues. Maybe you have other uh, limitations on what you can afford. You know, for 300 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. And it's running Halo 5. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this was on sale. Wanted to check out some Steam games. And this is Metro Exodus. Have you played this one? And not bad. You know, I, I could probably push it a little bit and tweak it to make it run maybe a little bit better, maybe lower some of the settings. I try to just do the standard settings on each of these games and again, running 1080p. But yeah, I think I would be satisfied if I was just a casual gamer or someone that wanted to check out some Steam games and be satisfied that this mini PC can still run them. I'm actually rather impressed. I mean, this thing is a little bit bigger than the size of an Ouya and it's running you know, I would say some more modern games. And so uh, the Max definitely would be something that if you wanted to game more and you wanted to play more AAA titles, I would go that route. But if you're just wanting to dabble with some modern gaming and mess around, uh, Battlebit Remastered, this is a new game that came out that seems to be very popular and doesn't take uh, a high-end PC to run. This runs at great, 60 frames, no problem and wanted to check this out, wanted to hear heard all the buzz about this game, and it, it runs it great. So if you're wanting just to, to casually play some games, you know, play games such as this, maybe Minecraft, maybe 
maybe some other lower end games, this is perfect for you. The light is the way to go. You save some money. I um, just wanted to, you know, test some games with it. Test some games that were in my library or games I wanted to purchase. Um, definitely for sure, this is performing better than I thought. As, you know, I have a desktop. And the desktop is a huge hulking piece of real estate on my floor. And this is better. And it's at 5% the space, which is crazy. But that's the times that we live in. Things are getting smaller. Thank you to... Uh, uh, increased technology and you know smartphones making things smaller and smaller all the time here's system shock I showed this uh, recently in a video and it's running great on this mini PC uh, not the high-end specs but it's running it and uh, frame rate is okay but you know uh, you know I think I think I'd be okay with running it like this uh, it's not 60 frames it's not high end, but you know, on a game like this, uh, medium settings, by the way, it's doing all right. And so, yeah, I uh, just wanted to show kind of some different games. Here's Squadrons, another favorite of mine, and one that uh, seems to be running great. And again, kind of that the, the average range is about 30 frames, 30, 35, uh, depending on the settings. Uh, you know, I wanted to show some, some games that, you know, aren't your typical indie games, you know, what what would someone just on a casual end want to play or check out and, and and this is just an example of a gaming that i think some people would want to play and it's it's playing it great um you know if if it was up to me if it was up to me to pick one of these three to get i probably would get the max just because i don't like upgrading computers i upgrade computers out of necessity and it's something that people are going to typically do i would say every three to five years depending on how much gaming and uh what type of performance you're expecting out of your your desktop pc which the future is meant these many pcs a uh, path of exile an older game but uh it's it's running a great so just nice to see the variety of games i wanted to see how it ran um the load times on these games kind of varied it was a little bit on the long side just a heads up but again, these are some newer games, and, and on smaller games, the load times are, are a lot faster. Um, it did come with Windows 11, mine did, and it was pretty zippy, and performance-wise on that, uh, I had no problem you know, surfing the internet, checking out YouTube, uh, all on that side was, was pretty fast. But yeah, I just wanted to show some games and kind of share some basic performance issues using uh, Game Bar. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't use Afterburner, I had an issue with the display popping up while capturing it. It could have been a settings issue, but um, I tried watching tutorials on how to get it to go, and it just didn't work for me. But I did try Afterburner. Anyways, really, the other thing that these little mini PCs are great for is emulation. This is a Sega Genesis collection that I had on Steam, and it's running Sonic 2 great. I'm sure it runs several other classics fine and performs well takes very little processing power of these new and powerful mini pcs there seems to be a lot of them and this is just one of many but the price is right that 300 dollars price point on kickstarter for the light if you want to save some money um i definitely think the max is probably what i would choose personally but that's because i don't like to upgrade pcs all the time and you know if you're gonna upgrade upgrade to the max i've always been taught that it's always served me well as you know when i want to upgrade a computer i don't want to do it all the time i want to do it like you know every you know three to five years and i'm kind of at that point where it's time to upgrade my pc and you may want to consider this it's successful it's over a hundred thousand already on kickstarter and which version would you choose the light the pro or the max and definitely in the comments i want to hear your thoughts about this as I'm curious, I'm curious what other people have experienced with mini PCs as, you know, the performance of these is getting better and better. You know, technology is getting better all the time. And I can't wait to see what else comes out as, you know what, uh, these mini PCs are taking over desktops. So anyways, if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell. 
as I'm uploading videos every week, you folks are wonderful and beautiful. I'm doing new content all the time, a little bit of retro, a little bit of modern, and a whole bunch of fun. And just thanks for viewing. Thank you for the comments. And stay awesome, stay positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.